Let's look at how to differentiate from first principles. The formula in the box is very important. Uh, if you don't want to derive that formula yourself, it's something that you need to learn off in order to differentiate from first principles. This video will look at two examples. The first example, it'll ask us to differentiate from first principles y is equal to 2x take 3. And the second example will ask us to differentiate from first principles f of x is equal to 4x squared plus 16x plus 16. Just notice that both functions are called uh, different names. The first one there is y is equal to and the second one is f of x is equal to. They basically just mean the same thing. They're just giving the functions uh, names. So example one here, differentiate from first principles y is equal to 2x minus 3. So hopefully you can see that this function is basically just a line, y is equal to mx plus 3. And as we know, differentiation is about finding the slope. So we can probably spot here that the slope of that line is 2. But let's do that using first principles. Let's use calculus to find us that slope. So in order to differentiate from first principles, we need our formula. And our formula is given as the limit as h approaches 0, f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by h. So that's our formula. Let's write down everything we know. We know f of x, that's given to us in the question, it's 2x minus 3. So that's the same as y, basically. The next thing we need, though, is f of x plus h. So hopefully you can see here, all we're doing is instead of an x, we're going to substitute in x plus h for x. So that's now going to become 2 bracket x plus h subtract 3. And we're going to multiply that in. So 2 multiplied into the x and the h is giving me uh, 2x plus 2h subtract 3. So I now have my f of x and I have my f of x plus h. That's basically everything I need. I'm now going to come back up and I'm going to fill that into my formula. And that will start off with my limit as h approaches 0. f of x plus h, I now have that as 2x plus 2h subtract 3. The next part is subtract f of x. f of x is given as 2x minus 3, all divided by h. My next line will be the limit as h approaches 0. And what I'm actually going to do is, see this minus outside the second bracket? I'm going to multiply that into the bracket. So try and imagine there's a 1 here in front of the bracket. I'm multiplying in that minus 1. So that's giving me 2x plus 2h minus 3. Now multiply in the bracket, I get minus 2x. And then a minus 1 by minus 3 gives me a plus 3. And that's all divided by h. You should now see some terms cancelling out. I have a 2x minus a 2x, that becomes 0. I have a minus 3 plus 3, that becomes 0. So my next line will be the limit as h approaches 0 of 2h over h. And once again, h divides into h once, so that's leaving me with the limit as h approaches 0 of 2. And that's my answer. 2 is basically the slope of this curve. So I've differentiated from first principles and my answer is 2. You can also write that as uh, dy dx, the slope or the derivative, is equal to 2. Let's look at a second example, which is a little bit more trickier than that. We're going to uh, differentiate from first principles a quadratic function. So it's asking us to differentiate from first principles, f of x is equal to 4x squared plus 16x plus 16. So once again, as soon as you see the words first principles, we need to write down our formula. Our formula, once again, is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by h. I'm now going to write down the values of my f of x and the value of my f of x plus h. The f of x is given to me in the question. It's 4x squared plus 16x plus 16. Now writing down the value of my f of x plus h, I'm basically subbing in x plus h everywhere I have an x. That's all I'm doing here. So there's a little bit of work here uh, to do first of all. I need to square out that bracket. So this would give me uh, 4 multiplied by x plus h times x plus h, that's the square, plus 16 times x plus h plus 16. 
multiplying in this 4 first of all, that's going to give me 4x plus 4h times x plus h. And then I'm going to multiply in this 16 next, and that's going to give me 16x plus 16h. And then I have to add on my plus 16. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand these brackets. So first term by second bracket, second term by second bracket. And then I have my plus 16x plus 16h plus 16. Multiplying in the brackets now, that's going to give me 4x squared plus 4xh plus 4xh, or 4hx, whichever way you want to write it, plus 4h squared, plus my 16x, plus my 16h, plus my 16. Now, there's not too much tidying up we can do here. We can put the 4xh and the 4xh together, and that's about it. So my f of x plus h can now be written as 4x squared plus 8xh uh, plus 4h squared plus 16x plus 16h plus 16. Okay, so a lot of work. That's just kind of the background piece of information before we can actually fill it into our formula. So now I'm coming over and I'm filling in my formula. So I have the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h. So that's my 4x squared uh, plus 8xh plus 4h squared plus 16x plus 16h plus 16. Now I need to subtract my f of x, so I'm going to subtract f of x, which is 4x squared plus 16x plus 16, and that's all over h. Use your brackets again, because that minus means that there's a one in front of it, so I basically need to multiply in this minus into this second bracket. So that's my next line, I'm just multiplying in that minus. So I have 4x squared plus 8xh plus 4h squared plus 16x plus 16h plus 16. Multiply in the minus, I get minus 4x squared minus 16x minus 16 all over h. So now let's hope some of these terms will cancel out, and they will. 4x squared minus 4x squared, cancel. 16x minus 16x, cancel. Positive 16, take away 16, will cancel out. So that's just leaving me basically with the limit as h approaches zero of 8xh plus 4h squared plus 16h, all divided by h. So my next step is basically just to divide in that h and the h will cancel with this h it'll cancel with one of these and it'll cancel with the h attached to the 16. so my next line there will be 8x uh, plus 4h plus 16. so i basically just another way of looking at that if you want is that i factorized out um, the h so maybe it might be easier to look at it this way if you prefer over h and i've just cancelled out these h's here. So that's just uh, a different way of writing that. Okay, my next line. So you can see now that I still have a h left in my expression here, 8x plus 4h plus 16. This is now when we apply the limit, the h approaching zero. So I'm now going to apply the limit. So my answer here will be 8x plus 4, and I'm going to sub in zero for h. Now, you only sub in the zero for h when you have a h left after you've divided it in. So I'm subbing in zero for h because it's approaching zero. And four times zero is zero. So I have 8x plus 16. And that is my final answer. That's my solution. That's my differentiating from first principles. Now, that's the same as another way of writing that is f dash of x is equal to 
8x plus 16.